Welcome to Clarity Practice Management. In this video, I will be showing you how to add new project types. First, I'd like to start out with showing you how project types relate to projects. So I will call up a project. As you can see here on the first project info screen, project type is an essential part of setting up a project. And once it's been set up for a project, it cannot be changed. The things that a project type define, first of all, are workflow steps. Second, questions templates for questionnaires, as well as checklists. So all those items, I'm gonna show you how you get those set up when you create a new project type. So to create a new project type, you go to administration, you down to projects, and you go to project types. First, I'm going to show you an existing project type, show you what's there. So I'll go into the personal returns project. And you can see there are basically four tabs for a project type. If you want to add a new workflow, come down here and click on that button. If you want to save what you've done, button up in the upper right. These are the workflow steps. First of all, you can see there's a description for the workflow step. The status column is the status that the client sees on their end. I think you probably already know they don't see the individual workflow steps, but they see the status that we give them access to. Email templates. Well, if we have a yes in the send email for a particular workflow step, we tell it the email to send out and potentially tell it the reminder to send out. Days to complete, these define the due dates from status to status. Estimated hours, you may remember on the company dashboard that you can see workload by staff member. That's where this comes from. If you would like to resort workflow steps, you do that here. And if you want to edit, you click on the edit button. And of course, we have a delete button. The questionnaire templates, these are also defined on a project type level. And you can see that for this one, we have a quite extensive list of questions templates. The checklist, these are also defined on a project type level. Project templates, I will be covering in another video. So what I'd like to do next is create a new project type. I'm gonna go back to projects, project types, and I'm going to select create new. Project type I'm going to create is business valuation. And I can give it a color. And then when I hit save, it shows up in my list, business valuation. And if I need to make a correction to that, I can do that because of spelling. To add workflow steps to a project, I hit add new workflow. I'm gonna put my first step in. And then this is the status that the client sees. I don't have an email template or reminder template for this particular one. So I'll add another one. And I'm adding these in top to bottom order. Now, in this particular case, waiting on answers, 
I'm going to do some special things with this one. So first of all, my pick status is going to be awaiting answers. That's what the client's going to see. And I'm going to pick an email template, posted questions, and I'm going to pick a reminder template, questions reminder. And I have to tell it to actually send an email. It should probably be pretty obvious that you should have your workflow list already put together in Excel or Word or something like that before you come into this section. Here for draft sent, I have an email template draft to approve and then draft reminder for the reminder, and I will hit yes to the send email. And I have one last status that I'll add to this. Project type. And this one will be a final pick status of done. Okay, now I have my workflow steps in. If I want to put in estimated hours, I can come in and edit and put in estimated hours, which I didn't do at any of the steps. But this again is where it rolls up into the workload. I'm going to save that, make certain I don't lose it. Next, I'm going to go on to a questionnaire template, and this is really simple. Hit Add Question, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a question. It can be a document request. item. I'll just add two quick items to the checklist. There we have it. So we have a project type set up. So I'm going to go back to the original screen, project type, show you what we got. Now we have business valuation in here. Note that it is not active yet. So before I can use it, click on the active. And now we have a project type that's available to us. So I will call up a client. Go to the Create New Project. Put in a description. Okay, you can see here now in our project type list is business valuation. Now I just complete 
the fields as I would for any other project. And when I hit Save button, I go over to Workflow Steps. You can see the workflow steps that I just put in. If I go to Q&A and I start a new questionnaire, if I go to Add Questions from Template, here's my template of pre-stored questions. If I go back to Checklist, here's the checklist that I created for this project. So that's really all there is to creating a project type. Thank you very much for watching.